Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott. Happy opening day, everybody. Uh, a lot of you were following along with this, but I know a lot of you don't watch YouTube shorts and I don't really blame you. So I just wanted to share my complete countdown to opening day series with y'all one more time just to celebrate. So the idea was to put myself in the mind of Donruss in the 80s and 90s and pick a player to represent from each team and uh, draw that player. So not necessarily in the style of Dick Perez, but just more of an exercise in doing a project this big and getting to know modern players a little better since I'm really more of a vintage guy. I do want to apologize for the vertical aspect ratio, but it would have taken me hours to go back to the original video files and reformat these, but it did give me the chance to make this cool Diamond Kings frame. I'm kind of mad at myself for not doing this frame for the whole series. I really like it. Uh, Royce here was the first one that I really, really liked. Not that I don't like all of them. I wouldn't share them if I wasn't happy with them, but you know how it is. There are some that you just like better than others. But Luis here, I had trouble with him. I think I drew him three times before I was happy. So um, I did put all of these up for sale in my Etsy store. The link is in the description below if you're interested in checking those out. Um, I sold about half of them, which I thought was really cool. And I'm so very grateful for those who bought these. Some people ask me how long these took. I spent about 90 minutes on average, I think, on each drawing. But then you add in the time to find the reference, find the music. You know, each player had a different song in their video. And then edit those videos. I easily had about 60 hours into the whole project. Estuary here, he was really the only one that I went with a whole body. I like this image where he seems to be channeling his inner Ricky. It was really hard to choose between Tatis and Machado for the Padres. I think it really came down to um, Tatis winning the Platinum Glove, and I do love drawing dreadlocks. Had to get that pose for Randy. This one was a little tricky, but I love how it came out. I really, really like this Bryce. I am surprised it took as long as it did to sell, but it did sell. Um, I might make a custom card out of this one. Some people have encouraged me to make a whole set of custom cards out of these. I still don't think I will. I think I would have to crowdsource it if I did. And, and even so, it might still be a little too pricey. Chuck Nasty was pretty fun. It's hard not to get a likeness when you're all beard. I do enjoy drawing the details in those glasses too. I used a randomizer to pick the order of the teams and then I made a list of who to draw. I did reach out to some people to help solidify some of those player decisions. Like for Pete here, I was going to draw Francisco Lindor, who had better numbers last year, but my Mets friends explained that Pete is more of the heart and the soul of the team. And then it sold immediately, so I'm glad I listened. This was before Shohei's gambling issue popped up. Maybe I should have gone with Mookie, but you know, you can't really blame me for going Shohei. And uh, this is probably the most talking I've done in a video ever. There were a lot of you that commented every day on these and that really helped me keep these going. It is tough to do these every day. So thank you guys for the encouragement, Liam and Barry and John and Alex and Goody and Jason. You guys, you guys are just awesome. Ellie here was a lot of fun. He sold super quick too, and uh, I got to draw those dreadlocks again. I made an adjustment here. Before the paper would be like bouncing all around, and I tend to move the paper to help my hand draw at uh, more comfortable angles, but it is kind of hard to watch. So I started keeping the paper as still as I could, and it's a little tougher to draw that way, but I got used to it pretty quick, and it makes for a better video. I had to draw that trident. Kutch was another one that I got a lot of hints from people. He may not be the Pirates best player anymore, but Pirates fans love him. And uh, this one sold super quick too. Um, I did get a few requests for retired players or Hall of Famers to represent these teams. I think I'll have to do something again with that in mind, maybe for opening day next year, or it was suggested that I do a countdown to the Hall of Fame inductions. That would be pretty cool too. I had trouble picking a guy for the Cubs. All my Cubs friends had different ideas who it should be, uh, but I eventually went with Dansby here. 
I had no trouble picking a ranger. I think he's yelling, Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. And then back to teams that were tough. I struggled with this one a little bit. I think it could have been better. As much as it pains me, Aaron Judge is really fun to draw. He's got a great face. I did 30 drawings in 30 days uh, last October with Inktober. I think it was actually easier this time. I knew what to expect, and maybe I'm probably more comfortable with these marker doodles than straight up ink drawings. Trot has been tougher to draw sometimes, but I really like this one. Here's where I'll do that thing where I ask you questions, so you'll leave a comment because YouTube likes that. But uh, let me know which one of these is your favorite, and uh, is it because it's your favorite team or player, or you just like the art? Or you can tell me that I'm a talentless hack if that makes you feel good. It might hurt my feelings though. Logan Webb has another great face. Um, I am kidding, of course. You guys are awesome, and uh, I receive very little negative feedback. I was surprised that guys like Otani and Trout, they didn't sell, but Logan Webb and Josh Naylor sold right away. Um, I went with Josh Naylor over Jose Ramirez just because he's kind of my guy and uh, he's, he's pretty fun to draw. Riley Green reminds me of Roy Kent, you know, so angry at the impending fastball that he's about to smash. This one was really, really tough. I ended up drawing it twice because the first attempt was terrible, but I wanted to do a catcher in catcher's gear and I'm glad I redid it. Almost there, King Tuck has a great face. I feel like all of this drawing really benefited me just doing this every day. I got into a groove and I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I think I did some really killer drawings. And Ronald finishes it up. Uh, thanks again to everybody who supported this project, whether you watched every day or you bought a drawing. I appreciate you all. Ken even bought two, so he gets an extra gold star. It was a lot of fun, and at the same time, I'm glad it's over. And now I have to replace some of these markers that have dried up. So good luck to your teams this season, and enjoy some baseball, everybody.